Don't touch that dial, as if there are dials anymore, but don't touch it. One, two, one, two, three, four. <laughs> Hey fiddlers, welcome to today's fiddle lesson video. I'm really excited to share this tune with you because it's a Straths Bay. I love this tune, it's called Captain Campbell. Straths Bays are super cool, they're like a little edgy. You're just gonna feel so Scottish playing this tune. You're gonna wanna like eat haggis and I don't know, you know, wear a kilt and all those fun things. Read Robert Burns. If you'd like sheet music for the tune and for the variation that I'm going to teach in this video, you can get them at the link in the description. You'll also get the tune color-coded by string with the fingerings as well as a chord chart and a harmony. All right, get your fiddle, get your bow, get your haggis, your highland pipes if you got them, and we're gonna learn a Straths Bay. First off, let's figure out what key we're in so we know where to put our left hand fingers. This tune is in the key of A Dorian, and Dorian is basically minor but with a raised sixth. You don't have to worry about that. I mean, you can if you want to, and if you do, like, worry about those sorts of things, then you're probably a kindred spirit, because I do. But here's all you need to know. So let's play an A Dorian scale. It's gonna start with your open A. One. Low two. Three, E, one, low two, three. Alright, so we've got our key signature for the tune. Let's figure out our time signature. Strath bays are in 4-4 four, four time, which means we have four quarter notes per measure. There are a bunch of other kinds of fiddle tunes that are in 4-4 four, four time, like reels or hornpipes, but what makes a Straths Bay a Straths Bay is largely the kind of rhythm that fits within those four quarter notes. The four quarter notes themselves would just be one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. But in Straths Bays, we're going to have a long short and a short long rhythm pattern within those quarter notes. Here's what I mean. This would be the long short pattern where you have a dotted eighth and a sixteenth for each quarter note. This is how it sounds. One, two, three, four. Long, short, long, short, long, short, long, short. The short, long rhythm would sound like this. One, two, three, four. So that's short, long, short, long, short, long, short, long. Then throughout the tune we might mix that up. So we might do a long, short, short, long, long, short, short, long. Or we might do a short, long, long, short, short, long, long. That's just a little primer. You don't really have to worry about it. We're going to learn the tune and we're going to figure it out as we go along. But that just gives you a basic idea of kind of what makes a Strathspey sound Strathspey. 
E. Okay, so now we have the key signature, we have the time signature, let's go ahead and learn the tune. I'm going to teach this tune by call and response, so we're going to be learning it by ear, and I'll play a short phrase a few times, and you can try playing it back when I play it. You can always backtrack on the video a little bit if you didn't get it the first couple times. Also, for one of those times, I'll throw the sheet music up on the screen so you can see what it looks like if you're a sheet music reader. The sheet music will be color-coded by string with the fingerings, so notes on the D string will be green, A string will be purple, and E string will be pink. As with many fiddle tunes, this tune has an A part and a B part. Let's learn the A part. The first phrase of the A part is going to start with your first finger on the D string, and it's going to go like this. One, two, three, four. that tricky rhythm we've got some short longs and long shorts but we'll get used to it here's that phrase with the fingerings starting with that first finger one a a one low two a one three then d three three a one three one three one more time one two three four phrase starts with that first finger on the D string again and it'll go like this one two three four finger numbers one a a one low two one low two e three one low two one a, A. Notice that kind of interesting bowing there. We're going to slur these two on a down bow. Then these two are both on an up bow, but there's a little stop in between. And then we get to this last note. Here's that phrase one more time. One, two, three, four. actually learned the entire A part. I'm just so proud. So let's go ahead and try playing all the way through the A part. We're going to do it two times through, real slow. Starting with that first finger on your D string. One, two, three, four. part, you play that A part two times the way we just played it. And now we're going to move on to the B part, which actually we only play once. The B part starts with your open A, and this is the first phrase. One, two, three, four. So there's a little run of 16th notes there. Really tiny bows for those. Here are the finger numbers. A, three, three, low two, E, three, low two, E, then three, E, low two, L E, three, low two, one, A, three, one. One more time. One, two, three, four. next phrase also starts through open A and it'll go like this. One, two, three, four. Finger numbers. A, three, three, low two, E, three, low two, 
two, E, three, one, low two, one, A, and then A again. One more time. One, two, three, four. is the same as the first phrase of the B part, so it'll sound kind of familiar, a little trip down memory lane. So it'll go like this, starting with that open A. One, two, three, four. So here are those finger numbers one more time. Start with the open A, A, three, three, low two, E, Three, low two, E, and then three, E, low two, E, then three, low two, one, A, three, one, one, two, three, four. on the end of the tune, this is the very last gasp. That sounds really bad. The home stretch. This part starts with your low second finger on the A and it'll go like this. One, two, three, four. So low two, A, three, one, E, three, low two, E, three, one, low two, one, A, A. Once more, one, two, three, four. entire B part. We have done it. We've learned a strath by you guys. Ah, we're amazing. Let's play the B part all the way through nice and slow. One, two, three, four. We're going to set it to 80. One, two, ready, go. tune all the way through with the guitar and everything, you can go back to the beginning of this video and play it along with me. But wait, don't touch that dial, as if there are dials anymore. But don't touch it, because we're going to get into a little variation on this tune. Nothing too fancy dancy today, we're just going to do a couple little things. We're going to do a grace note, we're going to do double stops, because I always do double stops, and we're going to do a melodic variation. So let's start out with our grace note ornament. Here's what the A part's going to sound with those little grace notes. I'll like raise my eyebrows at you when they happen. This is where 
the Italian eyebrows really come in handy. So a grace note is just a really quick light note with your left hand fingers. These ones are starting right above the note. So for example, if we're gonna do a grace note for the second finger, we're gonna actually play the third finger really quickly right before that second finger note. You can start nice and slow. And then see if you can make it really light and quick. Just a little pitfall to avoid. Sometimes when you're trying to lighten up with your left hand, which you kind of need to do for these grace notes, your bow can lighten up as well. So you get this little. So keep that bow weight there. And then your grace notes are gonna be nice and crisp. So this is gonna come into the tune in a couple places. We're gonna go third finger grace note going to that second finger. Then we're gonna go second finger grace note going to the first finger. Then that third finger grace note. Here's that phrase one more time. Then at the end of all of that, we do have a little double stop that's gonna come into the mix. Here's how it's gonna sound. So is that little. You guys hear me talk about these a lot, but double stops are when you're playing two strings at the same time with your bow. So you get a little bit of a chord. And this double stop comes after we play. You're gonna keep that first finger on the A string. And when you put down the second finger on the E string, you're just gonna play both of those strings together. And then we're gonna just go on to the end of the A part. So once more, this is what that phrase will sound like. I have a whole other video on double stops if you wanna check that out, so I can link to that. All right, now we are on to the B part, and this is where my favorite variation comes in. Here's what it'll sound like. One, two, three, four. down a little bit. After you play the very beginning of the B part, here's where this little variation is going to come in. We're dividing each quarter note of the next measure into three. Instead of, we're going to do a series of triplets. We're going to go numbers there. It's going to be three, E, one, that's one set of three, then low two, one, E, and then three, low two, one, and then three, A, one. You might want to put a little extra oomph on the first note in each set of three. for fun. Then we're going to go on with the tune. Put that double stop in here if you want. Dealer's choice. Then we're going to have basically the same melodic variation happen again. After we play, we've got those same set of triplets, but we're going to add on a few more at the end. We're going to go so it's low two, one, A, then three, low two, one, and then the normal tune. Thank goodness. With a double stop if you want. And that's the end. Okay, let's play all the way through that B part with those variations, and I'll let you know when they're about to happen. One, two, three, four. Melodic variation. Nice 
work, you guys. You've learned the whole variation. I would love to try playing that all the way through with the metronome with you. We're going to set it to 80. Here we go. One, two, three, four. and the variation back to back, you can go back to the beginning of the video and play it along with me. All right, you guys, that wraps up today's fiddle lesson video. I hope you enjoyed this Strath Bay. If you're new to Strath Bay, there's a whole beautiful world of them out there. If you'd like sheet music and practice tracks for the tune and the variation that I taught, as well as a harmony, a chord chart, and the tune color coded by string with the fingerings. You can get that at the link in the description. You can also become a patron of mine, which allows you to vote on topics for my future videos. Have a great day, you guys. Happy fiddling, and I'll see you next time.